at this question number 7 we are given a hyperbola for which a is 10 and b is 8 and it says its foci are at s and s1 where s lies in positive x axis and p is a point on hyperbola in the first quadrant let angle SPS1 be alpha with alpha less than pi by 2, a straight line passing through point S and having same slope as that of tangent at P to hyperbola intersects the straight line S1P at P1. Let delta be distance of P from straight line SP1 and beta equals S1P, then greatest integer less than or equal to beta delta upon 9 sine alpha by 2s. So what we'll do is we'll draw this hyperbola. So we have this hyperbola whose foci are at S and S1 and S lies on positive x-axis. Now there is a point P. Now we will join S1, P, S and if we draw a tangent at P, We know that tangent and normal, they bisect focal radius. That means this angle and this angle, it must be equal. Now it says angle SPS1 equals alpha. So this angle is alpha by 2 and this angle is also alpha by 2. So both these angles, they are alpha by 2. And it says a straight line passing through point S having same slope as that of tangent at P intersect straight line S1P at P1. We draw a line passing through this point S, which is parallel to this given tangent. And this line, it intersects this S1P at P1. So if we extend this, it will be this point P1. Now this beta is S1P and delta is distance of P from straight line sp1 so basically this is perpendicular distance so this distance it is delta now we need to find the value of greatest integer function of beta delta upon 9 sine alpha by 2 now what we'll do is we'll drop a perpendicular from s1 to this tangent and say this distance is l now we know that product of perpendiculars from two focus on any tangent it is equal to b square that means this s1 say d into sp it must be equal to b square and b square in this case is 64 now s1d is l and sp is delta and this is equal to 64 now in this triangle s1dp if we write sine alpha by 2 sine alpha by 2 will be l upon beta so now we have beta delta sin alpha by 2. So we multiply everything with beta delta upon 9. So we can write this as beta delta upon 9 sin alpha by 2. It will be beta delta upon 9 into L upon beta. Now beta and beta will cancel. L into delta is 64. So this value is 64 by 9 and 64 by 9 is some point something so it's greatest integer function greatest integer function of beta delta upon 9 sine alpha by 2 will be simply 7 and that is the answer to this question